guys, somebody mentioned me in this one. It looks like a fun one. It asks us to solve for X, one of the sides of the three given squares. If you want to try this one, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. First, looking at this large triangle, if both of these are 60 degrees, that means this right here will also be 60 degrees. So that means this is an equilateral triangle. And they're giving us that this side is equal to one, so we know that the other two sides will also be equal to one. So I'm planning on building out this base. All three of these are squares, so we know that if this is x, this is also x. If this is 2x, this is also 2x. And if this is 3x, this is also 3x. So now we just gotta figure out this portion and this portion. Both of these question marks are the bases of these two white triangles. And since they're both corners of this equilateral triangle, we know they're both 30, 60, 90 triangles. And every 30, 60, 90 triangle follows the same pattern. No matter what the smallest leg is, you will always multiply it by root three to get the other leg. And it also works the other direction. No matter what this longer leg is, you divide by root three to get the shorter leg. Let's look at this triangle first. One of the sides of this triangle is a side of the red square. And we know the red square, each of the sides is equal to X. And this is kind of small. Let's see if we can zoom in. I did not know I could do that. I am so excited. That's such a cool way to zoom in. So we're now focused in on this triangle right here. And once again, we know it's a 30, 60, 90 triangle because this angle is shared with the larger equilateral triangle. This triangle is oriented just like the one in our notes. So this side being X, we can make this X. And if we divide X by root three, that'll give us X over root three. So that means this bottom piece is equal to X over root three. And we can update this question mark to be X over root three. And now we just got to find this double question mark. And this is also going to be a 30, 60, 90 triangle where this side opposite the 60 is equal to 3x. So to find this double question mark, we're going to do 3x divided by root 3. And then let's rationalize the denominator. Let's multiply top and bottom by root 3. Root 3 times root 3 is 3. And then this 3 and this 3 can cancel each other out. So we end up with square root of 3x. And then we could rationalize the denominator on this side, but I'm kind of curious what happens if we don't. So now we have all these pieces in terms of x. And if we add them all together, they're going to be equal to the side length of 1. And then we can combine like terms x plus 2x plus 3x is equal to 6x. And then we can copy down everything else. And now from here, I'm starting to regret not rationalizing the denominator. But that's totally fine. We can fix this. Let's multiply both sides by radical 3. Radical 3 times the first term is going to be radical 3x over radical 3. And the radical 3s cancel each other out to give us x. And then radical 3 times the second term is going to give us 6 radical 3x. And then radical 3 times radical 3x is going to be 3x. And then on the right-hand side, radical 3 times 1 is radical 3. And then we can combine like terms again. x plus 3x is 4x. And then we can bring down everything else. So now we have two x's. Our goal is to solve for x. We can only do that if we have one x. And the way we do that is by factoring out that common x. After we factor the x out of the first term, it's just 4. And after we factor the x out of the second term, it's going to be 6 root 3. And then we can bring down the right-hand side. Now I want to get x by itself, so I'm going to divide both sides by 4 plus 6 rad 3. And then we end up with x is equal to rad 3 over 4 plus 6 rad 3. And we're kind of done. We have solved for x, but I want to rationalize the denominator. We can multiply top and bottom by the conjugate. On top, the root 3 goes to both of these terms. It's going to give us 4 root 3 minus, and then we can bring down the 6, and root 3 times root 3 is equal to 3, and then 6 times 3 is 18. And then on bottom, 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times negative 6 root 3 is negative 24 root 3, 6 root 3 times 4 is positive 24 root 3, and positive 6 root 3 times negative 6 root 3 is equal to negative 36 times 3, which is 108. From here, these middle two terms will cancel each other out. And so we have 16 minus 108, which is equal to negative 92. And to simplify a little bit further, both top and bottom can be divided by negative 2. We have 4 divided by negative 2 and negative 18 divided by negative 2. That gives us negative 2 root 3 plus 9. And then the negative 92 divided by negative 2 is positive 46. And now we've rationalized the denominator for x. It's 9 minus 2 root 3 over 46. And that's approximately 0 0.12034561. And that's the answer to our question. Let's put a box around it. How exciting. And if you guys want to try more of these geometry challenges, I have this page on andymath.com. I'll put a link in the description.